we're asked to factor 20 u squared v minus 10 u v squared. When they say factor a binomial like this, an expression that has two terms like this, they really mean break it up into the product of, well, one or more terms. So let's see if we can do that. And the easiest way we can do that is say, hey, is there any common factor? In particular, let's find the greatest common factor of each of these terms and then divide that out. Or you can almost imagine undistributed it out. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. So what's and eventually you'll be able to do this in your head, but we'll work through it step by step right now. So what is 20 u squared v if we factor it out. 20 u squared v if we do it into the prime factorization, it is 20 is 2 times 2 times 5, right? That's 2 times 10, that's 20. u squared is times u times u, and then v is just 1v. So we just rewrote 20 u squared v into kind of a product of its smallest components, its, its most fundamental components, prime numbers and just u's and v's. Now let's do the same exact thing for the 10 uv squared. So we'll put that minus sign there so that we haven't fundamentally changed the expression. 10 is, if we break it down into its prime factors, 2 times 5. Then we have 1u times 1u times v times v. That's what v squared is, times v times v. Now what's the greatest common factor of these two terms right here? Well, let's see. They both have 1, 2. They both have 1, 2 right there. Maybe I'll circle that one. I could have circled that one. They both have 1, 5. That's 1, 5, 1, 5. They both have 1, u. 1, u there, 1, u there. This one has 2, but only this one has 1. And they both have at least 1, v. They both have at least 1, v. So they both have 1, v. So the greatest common factor is 2 times 5 times u times v. So I could rewrite this expression. I could kind of undistribute the 2 times 5 times u times v, and what will we get? If we wrote 2 times 5 times u times v, and we say that's going to be, this expression is equal to this times what? Well, if you factor the 2 times 5 times u times v out, all you're going to be left with in this first term is the 2 times u, the 2 times u here, so 2u here. And in the second term, all you're going to be left with is a v, right? All of this other stuff gets factored out. All you're going to be left with is a v. And hopefully you see, if I multiply 2 times 5 times u times v times 2u, I'm going to get this first term here. So if I were to distribute it, I would get this first term. And if I multiply 2 times 5 times u times v times this v over here, I'm going to get this second term. So this expression and that expression is the exact same thing. We have factored it out. Now we can simplify a little bit. 2 times 5 times u times v, we can rewrite as 10 u v, and then inside the parentheses, we of course have a 2u, 2u, and then a minus v, and we're done. We have factored the expression. Now you won't be doing it to this granular level, but this is what we. This is the way, the best way to think about it. Eventually, you're going to say, hey, wait, look, the largest number that divides both of these is a 10, because you can say 10 goes into 20, 10 goes into 10, and let's see, a u goes into both of these, and a v goes into both of these. So let me factor out a 10 u v, and then if I divide this thing by 10 u v, I'm going to be left with 2 u, and then if I divide this by 10 u v, I'm going to just be left with a v. So that's another way to think about it. Let, let me do that right now. So we could say that this is the same thing. Another way of approaching it, you could have said that this is the same thing as, well, the largest number that divides both of these is 10 uv. 10 uv. And that's going to be times 20 u squared, 20 u squared v over 10, 10 u v minus this thing, 10 u v squared over 10 u v. This expression and this are obviously the same thing. If I were to distribute the 10 u v, it would cancel out with each of these in the denominator right there. So they're the same thing, but what we can do is we can simplify this. We could say that 20 divided by 10 is just 2. u squared divided by u is just a u. v divided by v is just 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. u divided by u is u. v squared divided by v is just v to the first power. So you're left with 10 u v times the quantity 2u minus v. Either way, you get the same answer.